everyone. You might have noticed that I haven't been as active on YouTube this summer and I've had some health related issues pop up again that have really made playing the violin difficult and I also figured it might just be nice to explain everything in a vlog here. And I do also have some fun news that I'm excited to share with you at the end too. So this summer, we've been really blessed to spend a lot of time with our family and we've had a lot of visitors from out of town, which has been a really nice change from missing out on all those visits during COVID. We live in Michigan, so those of you who live in a similar climate know how important it is to take advantage of the nice summer weather when you have it because Winter is always coming and it's usually pretty brutal here. So we spent a lot of time outside and even took our first family vacation together with the kids, which was quite the adventure. And while spending so much time with the kids has been great, between that and pregnancy, it's honestly just taken quite a toll on my body these last few years to the point where I've been having a hard time making new music and playing my violin as much. I've never really talked about this on my channel in the past, but I've had some pretty serious neck issues within the past eight years and a lot of it just has to do with the repetitive aspect of my job with playing an instrument like the violin and even just doing so much work on the computer between making my backtracks and editing videos and things like that. It's the specific posture and held positions with weight out in front. So between holding the violin and holding kids out like that and then literally having a child inside of my body twice now with all my weight in front, it's just caused quite a mess for my neck. It was really bad when I was traveling so much for my music videos and especially when I started touring back in 2015 and 2016 and I found out that I already had arthritis starting in my neck. But I found a really great integrative health place when we were living in California where I was able to get everything in a pretty good place again between like physical therapy and chiropractic work massage therapy, and especially this technique called cupping. Kind of looks like you got into a fight with an octopus afterwards because it leaves these circular welts on your body for a little while, but that really helped me a lot. It helps with blood flow and softening like extremely tight muscles. So all those things are what helped me manage my issues for a while. And I had been really good about seeing a massage therapist regularly when we moved back to Michigan because that's just always going to be something that's an important part of my routine to have my neck worked on by a professional on a regular basis. And I had still been seeing someone throughout my pregnancy with my first son, Logan, but then COVID hit and all the lockdowns happened and I really got out of the habit of taking care of my neck the way that I should have. And then I got pregnant again in the fall of 2020 and I was even more nervous than about seeing people because I didn't want to get COVID, especially while pregnant. So I wasn't getting my neck worked on for most of that pregnancy. And I ended up having the worst issues about five months into that pregnancy with Walker. And I still don't even know exactly like what was happening or how to describe the pain that I was having, but my neck would get so stiff and inflamed that it would just lock up to the point where I couldn't even move like at all. And I couldn't get any relief from the pain in any sort of position. It was just a constant nerve pain, like running up both sides of my neck. And I just had to wait it out until it kind of felt like it would reset the next day. When you're pregnant, you're not supposed to take any anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen. So I was basically just stuck in this cycle for four months where my neck would just lock up like that about every five days. And it was honestly horrible and it made it impossible to do just like normal activities, let alone play the violin comfortably. And I was just getting like super depressed about the whole situation and just being in that kind of pain, knowing that I really didn't have anything that I could do to fix it while I was pregnant. So as soon as my son Walker was born, my neck stopped locking up the way it had been. And I was also able to take ibuprofen. So I thankfully haven't had that same issue since giving birth in 2021, but my neck has also like never felt the same. And so now fast forward to right now, I've been seeing a chiropractor regularly, doing a lot of my own physical therapy. I've been getting massages regularly. I do foam rolling and lacrosse ball and stretching and all that kind of stuff at home. And I am making some progress, but I'm not fully normal still. And the things that really cause issues for me beyond playing the violin are things like holding my kids. And so this summer, just spending so much time with them and stuff has been great, but it's also just been causing those issues again. And so I'm very determined to figure this out and fix these issues because I definitely need to be able to spend time with with my kids without feeling like it's destroying my body. And I've just been having a lot of anxiety about the whole situation because we have been talking about possibly trying for a third. We'll see, we'll see if we're able to. And the thought of just going through that whole neck issue again with another pregnancy just honestly really scares me. So I just wanted to let you guys know 
why I've been a little off with my consistency in the last couple of years, but especially the summer too. So I will keep you posted on everything. And I hope to have some really good news to share with you at some point in the near future that I've gotten everything in a good place again. So since I haven't been able to play my violin as much lately, it actually did open up more time for me to be able to work on something that I've been wanting to for years, but just didn't feel like I had the time to, you know, put into it until now. And that's my new merchandise brand called Beyond Classical. So you may have seen me posting about it if you follow me on other social media accounts, but I wanted to just formally introduce it here too because it is something that I am really excited to share with you guys. So the whole story behind this brand and why I wanted to create it is because basically my whole life I haven't been able to find a brand or products that truly represent my love for the type of classical crossover style music that I'm the most passionate about. I grew up playing mostly classical music and I still do really love classical music, but I've just never felt truly passionate about classical music alone. And I mean, you guys know that I'm the most passionate about music from movies and video games, TV shows, and my own compositions. And that genre is mostly within the soundtrack genre and the style is considered more of a classical crossover than a pure classical style. And because I've been sharing my love for this kind of music for over 12 years now, I've had so many other musicians reach out to me telling me that their experience and passion for music is very similar to mine, where maybe they were classically trained and still like classical music, but they just feel like they need something beyond classical music to feel fully creative and expressive as a musician. And so I know that there are a ton of us out there nowadays sharing our love for our more traditionally classical instruments in a more modern way. And I've really loved being a part of this whole community and watching it grow. and. That's really what inspired me to create this whole Beyond Classical brand. And it's not meant at all as a, like, a rejection of classical music, but it's just more something that embraces like our more adventurous side with music. And I just wanna encourage people to have fun and be creative and try new things, whether that's creating their own music or maybe playing an arrangement of something more modern that really excites them. I was classically trained. I used to play in a ton of different youth orchestras too, all the way until I graduated from high school. And I'll be honest, I really did not fit in well with the whole culture surrounding classical music because it always felt like it was driven by perfectionism versus creativity. I had a hard time with how mean people could be over things like chair placements or how you'd be crying after an audition that you practiced months for because you played one wrong note and then the judges really really wanted to make sure that you knew you played that wrong note and just in general to how elitist some people can be in the classical world about modern music. I always have found a lot more joy in the creative side of things and it wasn't until I started my YouTube channel back in 2010 and started sharing my favorite kind of music with all you guys that I really kind of reignited my own passion for music because I had lost a little bit of that over the years from not playing enough of the type of music that I was truly passionate about. So that's kind of the whole story behind Beyond Classical and all of our designs are meant to make you feel kind of empowered and creative as a musician and they just have a really fun and adventurous vibe and the plan is that we'll just keep adding new designs to the collection as we grow. And right now we're just starting really small. We're launching this Thursday, the 22nd at 11 a.m. Eastern time with a few different t-shirts and some really neat necklaces and stickers. And if you're signed up for my newsletter, then you'll have early access to shop before the store opens to the public. So if you do want to get your hands on something with this first launch, then just make sure that you're signed up for my newsletter. And I've got a link in the description below that'll take you to where you can do that. I also wanted to introduce you to our amazing friend Haley, who you'll be seeing a lot more of through Beyond Classical because she's the one who's handcrafting all of the jewelry. Haley started out with us actually as our nanny in 2021. And I honestly can't say enough nice things about her. We're just really truly blessed to have been able to connect with her and she already feels like a member of our family so it's really exciting that she's joining us in our business. Haley is an incredibly talented metalsmith and also owns her own small business called Haley & Co and you can learn more about her on the Beyond Classical page of my website. I don't get super personal here on my YouTube channel that often but my neck issues were something that I really just wanted to share with you guys because I think it's just a good reminder to make sure that you take care of yourself especially if you're doing any sort of job or hobby that requires a lot of repetitive movements with your body. And I know it's a lot easier said than done with how busy life can get, but just make sure that you guys take care of yourselves. All right, and that's it for now, and I will see you again in the next video.